हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम राधा कुमारी पाणी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन केमिस्ट्री एट वी आई सो लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द सम इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट इन मेट्रोलॉजिकल इंजीनियरिंग व्हाट इज मेट्रोलॉजी एंड व्हाट आर द कोर्स ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ मेट्रोलॉजिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड व्हाट आर द एप्लीकेशन एंड नाउ इन टूडेज क्लास वील डिस्कस अबाउट द एटोमिक स्ट्रक्चर एंड इट्स बॉन्डिंग एंड द टाइप ऑफ इंट्रैक्शन दैट आटम्स हैव फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द एटोमिक स्ट्रक्चर determines types of bonding okay in the last class uh, i have already told about this that the bonding in the atomic structure that present in the crystal structure determines the property if the bonding of atomic structure is changed then the property also will be changed first in uh, same atoms are present but the types of bonding are different uh, let's take example of uh, carbon atom that uh, allotropes of carbon as all of you know like diamond and graphite different type of allotropes are there in uh, diamond carbons are uh, bond are covalently bonded okay and the diamond are hardest material all the carbon atoms are arranged in covalent covalently bonded and in the graphite across the plane carbons are uh, are in covalent bond and uh, sorry in the planes and across the planes carbons are arranged in van der waals force so uh, the second one atomic structure determine the type of bonding and the bonding determines the property okay if the bonding of atoms are changed then the property will be changed and now i have given two example uh, one is example one is in uh, diamond carbons are covalently bonded and that's why it is the hardest material as you know and another allotrope of carbon is graphite carbon are in covalent bond in the plane and carbon are sorry and across the plane carbon are bonded due to van der waals force so the graphite are the softest uh, soft material you are using in pencil that is more flexible in the plane carbon are covalently bonded and across the plane carbon are van der waals force so now you can know if the bonding are changing then the property will be changed here bond uh, here the bonding is covalent bond and in graphite the bonding is covalent bond along with van der waals force so the property will be changed hard to softest okay now uh, so now uh, we'll move towards the atomic structure and i will give some recap uh, you must have learned uh, uh, in your uh, lower classes what is atoms and what are the fundamental particles are there i'll just recap all of them mm.
atom consists of nucleus in the nucleus proton and neutron are there and electron electrons are orbiting around the nucleus as you all know and you know proton are positively charged particle neutron are neutral and the electron are negatively charged particle okay an atom consists of three fundamental particles proton neutrons and electrons protons are positively charged particle neutrons are neutral and the electrons are negatively charged particles and now the atomic number of any atom denoted by z will be equal to number of protons okay now if the atom is electrical neutral then the number of proton will be number of electron you all know about this and third one the charge of electron is minus 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb coulomb is the charge a unit of charge so the atomic number is denoted by z it will be number of protons and uh, if the atom is electrical neutral no charge is there then the number of proton will be number of electron and the third one the charge of electron is minus 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb now what is atomic mass unit atomic mass unit or amu it is by the definition it is 1 by 12th of atomic mass of twelfth carbon okay and one amu per atom is one gram per mole and you all know in one mole there is 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 atoms are there it is known as Avogadro number okay and let's take one example if the atomic weight of iron that is 55.85 amu per atom then the mass will be 55.85 gram per mole we can write because 1 amu per atom will be 1 gram per mole that means in 1 mole 55.85 gram of iron is there so this is some basic funda uh, you must uh, learn uh, you must have learned learn about this in the lower classes your 12th uh, or 10th chemistry physics classes so i want to just recap uh, all these before proceeding to the atomic structure and what are the like fundamental particles and what is atomic mass and one thing uh, i have forgotten here uh, how to calculate the atomic mass okay how to calculate uh, the atomic mass of any atom so the atomic mass of an atom can be calculated by the summation of mass of proton plus mass of neutrons 
here the mass of electrons are uh, are not going to affect the atomic mass because the order of magnitude is very low compared to the mass of proton and neutron uh, because it uh, mass is for if uh, the atomic mass of electrons uh, the charged particle electron is 9.11 into 10 to the power minus 31 kilogram so the order of magnitude is very low so it will not affect the atomic mass of any atoms so now uh, we'll move towards the uh, atomic model so different scientists have given their models first uh, jj thompson have given plom model he said that uh, the protons and the electrons are equally distributed in an atom are equally distributed in an atom it is called plom model like uh, he said that it is uh, present like the seed in a plom like the watermelon so it is plom model or thompson model next second uh, the model was given by rutherford's model uh, known as rutherford model he said that that the electrons are let this is nucleus the electrons are continuously revolving around the nucleus okay this is continuously revolving around the nucleus and he has said that the force that will balance the electrons to revolving around the nucleus that is centrifugal force will be balanced by attraction attractive force here the centrifugal force uh are uh, by the electrons that are rotating and the attractive force is due to the positively charged nucleus and the negatively charged electron but later on it is failed because if the electron is continuously revolving around the nucleus then the energy of electron will continuously decrease okay if is revolving continuously revolving around the nucleus the energy level will be decrease and at last it will fall upon the nucleus so the atom will not exist so the later on uh, early model was given by nels bohr by he took the uh, the theory that is planck's model planck's quantum model he took the help of this uh, theory and he proposed a theory bohr's model so now what is bohr's model so the only models are given by bohr's model and he said that the el electrons are orbiting around the nucleus in a discrete energy level called orbitals and he specified the orbitals as a l m n cell like so on and the second one the electrons are present in well defined manner and the third one is the electrons can change their orbitals by absorbing or emitting some energy called quantum or packet of energy so the electrons <clears throat> can change orbitals by absorbing or emitting a quanta of energy okay quanta means packet of energy that is h nu where h is planck's constant and nu is the frequency so now 
third one uh, see this is the nucleus and this is the let k cell this is l cell this is m cell the electron can jump to lower to higher orbitals by absorbing some energy okay and the electron can go to higher to lower orbitals by emitting some energy that is called quanta of energy and these three postulates are given by Bohr's but the Bohr's model has failed it has some drawbacks because uh, it will only applicable for the atoms which have only one electron okay and this theory is not applicable the atoms have more than one electron so only for the hydrogen atom the spectral of atom the spectroscopy the spectra of atoms can be deducted uh, sorry can be evolved by this theory only for hydrogen atom not for other atoms and the second drawback is that uh, it will not fulfill the heisenberg principle okay what are the drawbacks of Bohr's model first one is it will not discuss about the spectral line of atoms of atoms having more than one electron more than one electron and the second drawback is it will not fulfill Heisenberg uncertainty principle according to Heisenberg uncertainty principle that the position and the momentum of any object simultaneously cannot be calculated but Bohr's has said that position and the momentum of atoms can be determined so it will not satisfy the Heisenberg uncertainty principle so these are the two drawbacks of Bohr's model so now the new models has come that is wave mechanical model and this model has said that the atoms okay the atoms behaves like wave or particles two types of behavior is there that any atom can behave wave type or particle type <coughs> and the electrons are found uh, by the probability distribution method he has said uh, less by this theory it is said that this is the lead nucleus and this is ring type one there this is called electrons cloud diffuse ring it is called diffuse ring so the electrons can be present anywhere it can be present here it can be present here it can be present here and the graph was given by this model that this is the probability and this is the distance from nucleus okay in the y axis this is the probability of finding of any electron from the new at a distance r from the nucleus and this is the distance from nucleus if and this is the maximum 
maximum probability of finding of finding a any electron maximum probability and this is bohr radius and somehow it is coincide with the bohr's model bohr has given its bohr's radius okay at a distance around that is the bohr radius at which distance the probability of finding of a electron is maximum so uh, we cannot exactly we cannot say that uh, at this distance the electron can be found maximum but probability we can say at this distance the probability of finding of electron is maximum so now uh, next and these are all about the atomic structure and what are the model are given by the scientist in the next class uh, we will discuss about the atomic interaction, what type of interaction of atoms are having in the crystal structure like electrostatic or repulsion and the bonding, what type of bonding is there, metallic or ionic or covalent, how the electrons are distributed in different different types of bonding, okay. So, till then take care, bye bye and have a nice day. Thank you so much.